Welcome to MacGasm TV. I'm Luca Fiore. No, oh, James Park. What's up? Holy shit. This is already going terrible. <laughs> anyway, today we're talking about the Nikon D4. Uh, it's Nikon's latest flagship model camera. Um, and it's a beast to behold, but it doesn't belong to me. So I'm going to let James talk about it. It's my camera, by the way. So uh, I had the camera for a bit over a week now, and uh, I didn't really get to push the camera to its you know, maximum capability. But I did get to shoot a lot of stuff during that time and uh, see how the camera works. And I gotta say, this camera is pretty amazing. Like the noise reduction is great. So you can really shoot under uh, low light situations and don't have to stress about the uh, noise too much. And very responsive, of course. Uh, robust, very well built. Uh, only beef I got is maybe the vertical grip when you hold it. I don't know your position. This is fine with the finger, if you can see it. But here is, it feels a little awkward in the back, but whatever. That's all right. Um, I really like the camera. I didn't really get to. Are there any new options with this camera from a still photography perspective? A still photography perspective? Like I noticed that there's like a, an ethernet port on the side. Of yeah, it. yeah, yeah, that's the cool part. I think that's really for the video where you connect the uh, camera to computers and like you shoot videos and like trigger remotely, whatever. And it also comes with a, well, it doesn't come with it, but it comes with a port where you can connect WT5 wireless, something that costs $1,000 and I couldn't afford. And uh, I mean, if you got an iPad, I mean, there's a lot of videos out there that demonstrates that feature where you go like iPad looking at it, cameras over there somewhere, you press the button and it takes a ca it takes a photo. So this can almost which is pretty cool. It can almost be essentially Wi-Fi enabled. That you yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, like, super cool. Yeah. Really like it. I wonder uh, if that would work with the video. Only thing is like the Adobe doesn't support its raw files yet, so I didn't really get well, to push I mean, it's the It's a pretty it's limit. pretty new camera. I'm sure yeah, that'll it's be fairly new. So I've been working with JPEG. A lot and that's been good and the video feature on this is amazing yeah which oh i God. guess that's a pretty good segue into the video feature i see um, jeremy's like shaking his head back there yeah. and sticking his tongue out and drooling over it but. Yeah. the reason why we have these cameras on the table no, is we'll take this one off because yeah. you know this is this is all news fucking yeah. 5d mark ii get off yeah the whatever table. you know um i wanted to bring i wanted to showcase this camera with this camera. This is the Sony FS100. And the reason why is these two are kind of similarly priced. This one's at currently around seven grand. I think so, yeah. And this one with the 18 to 200 lens is at around six grand, but you know, this is brand new and I'm sure that's gonna come down in price. And this is about a year old for that matter. Anyway, I wanted to showcase these two cameras because they're, they both do 1080p recording in both 30 and 24. This one does 60 as well, but I'll leave that alone. Um, they're both apparently incredible in low light situations and they both have wonderful resolution. So I wanted to really try out these two cameras using the Atmos Ninja over here and really try to see at an, un an uncompressed video out to really see like exactly how good these cameras are. And from what I could tell, especially in that low light department, they seem very, well, great. I mean, like, I was looking at the Nikon D4 footage, even at, what was it? We so, went 800, 1600, 3200, and then, did we do 64? We did 64 as well. And then How did you find 64? I don't know, from the LCD, it all looks good, but uh, you will have to look at it from the footages that we shot to decide for yourself, but. I mean, no matter how good the reduction is with the ISO and noise and whatnot, you don't really want to be shooting in that range unless you absolutely have to anyway. Yeah. But if you have to, given that uh, situation, it will probably produce a pretty uh, decent footage. Cool. And one of the reasons why I wanted to compare these two cameras is that this, I, 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 I can honestly say, is for people using the 5D Mark II, this almost seems like a good upgrade or the FS100 for that matter, just because a lot of these videographers that became photographers or in turn photographers that became videographers might consider a DSLR versus buying another video-esque camera. 
So I really wanted to like showcase these two cameras pitted against each other, saying if you really, you know, hated the form factor of the DSLR and wanted to go with a video camera, this may be a good option for you. But that being said, if you want those raw still photo that raw still photography and you're thinking, oh maybe like maybe I should own both, then I'm saying this might not be a terrible choice for you well, because like cool. this is a great I'm sorry. Well you know what just to add to that if you're a videographer and that's most of your work I am so is upset video, right now. You should be getting something like this instead of something like D4. I mean D4 is a flagship motor. A lot of photojournalists use this. Top photographers, I mean if you're working in that environment where you need 11 frames per second for your stills, this is your camera. But if you're shooting video, like why would you spend more money buying this, you should buy something like... Because this is for people that maybe want to do photography and video as well. Because obviously, there's other this, options like this absolutely be... destroys this guy for, you know, Still? photography. Of course, because this doesn't have... Let me just make this clear. We're doing a comparison, but this is D4 at its raw form. You see this shit right here? It's like fucking a few hundred dollars right here, another few hundred dollars on that Zakuro... Uh, that came with it. That, so, this wobbles that, and stuff. I don't know what That's the, because it's whatever. You can lock that down. Buy I'm defending like a camera this. that doesn't even belong to me, guys. I mean, I mean, if you buy something like this, we, we set 6,000 range, but you'd be dropping another like few grand on just accessories. Okay, you want to talk just accessories. So you, know. you want to talk accessories. No, I, Let's, think, I think people need to know like, what's up. You can go like fucking shoulder rigs. You can go... Uh, no, no. rail I mean, systems. You don't, like, we don't How about the, the EVF viewfinder for that guy? We don't. If I don't comes, it holy just comes shit! CD, accessories go crazy on DSLRs. I mean, this thing's got like a ninja on there. I mean, at at some point, I get tired this, of making my DSLR into a fucking cannon, like not a cannon brand, but an actual artillery piece <laughs> of weapon. And I can walk in and start blasting away at me. Like, it's, it's a lot to behold and to build. Whereas, like, that being said, you can really strip it down and make it that small. Which is, you know, kind of nice at the same time. Plus, this is a hell of a lot more discreet than this guy. What I'm saying is, like, guy. if you walk into a situation where you need to turn it on and start rolling, on, 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 I'm shooting. Whereas... You know, this, this guy, guy takes, I mean, this guy takes a whole 10 seconds to, you know, boot up. I don't I know, what, what is that, Jeremy? Jeremy? asking for help over here when he was like, Six seconds? building yeah. this thing. He's like, can I get some help over here? I mean, what the fuck, man? Jer James it's an get, amazing get, camera, though. I, you know, if I were just doing video work, I wouldn't buy a DSLR. I mean, I would get a legit camcorder. Yeah, I mean, like, right? you know. XLR ends as, an, as a small example is you know you have the ability to record audio within the camera it's just a small example I mean this one's got great. headphone jacks now and it's got a you know small RCA connection I yeah guess. you could put like a little so mic on there too small yeah road mic on there yeah. which is absolutely terrible or good depending on the situation you're in so that's terrible or good I mean that's that's another accessory yeah like I, I shot an event where there's a lot of loud music and I had a person talking to, towards, the, to, uh, towards the camera and the uh, road mic, the video mic actually did a pretty good job yeah, picking that up. Cool. Well, uh, but if I was shooting outside with a lot of wind, obviously that's not gonna... Final much. thoughts on this guy. Oh, uh, final thoughts on this guy already. Um, I love it. Price-wise, it's the flagship model and it's always been in that range. And it's brand new. I'm sure this is gonna come down as uh, well. They don't come down too much with the flagship. They might have like 100, 200 bucks sale. I think, but not. You don't think uh, you don't think a year later, maybe. Unless they release or... something like a D4S, and then maybe it will drop a little bit. But well, D4S might be like a different type of beast altogether. Just like D800 is like yeah. 36 megapixels. Also, I didn't mention this fact. This is a full frame camera, whereas this is a Super 35 sensor. So you are gonna get that. Super rich 35 th sensor, meaning it's a fucking crop sensor. Um, Which it's a surface. standard for making movies sensor, more like. Yeah, yeah. You know, you'll find well, the same sight sensor on an Ari Alexa put, you put for a $60,000 camera. It does mean, uh, you know, I love my full frame. It gives me that depth of field I like. If I, if I called it a super full frame sensor, would that make it better? Would you like it? Super 35 marketing gimmick, full frame. 
Not Super sad. full Mighty frame. Mighty out of focus, <laughs> depending on the operator. Mighty and out of focus. <laughs> this is the 5D Mark II guy. Okay. Yeah, uh, 5D Mark II. Huh. We had fun, didn't we? <laughs> James, where can people find you? Uh, www.jamesparkphoto.com uh, Also, Twitter, James Park Photo. There's also James Park Photo on Facebook. But there's another guy with the exact same name as me. That's not, uh, don't go to that one. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, I didn't see that yeah, shit when I first started my page. Yeah, don't go to the other James Park photo. I checked go to it this to James make sure Park there's photo. nobody else. Make sure, like, you know. The one with better photography. That's the one that he's suggesting you he not go to. He could spell photo with F-O-T-O like, you know, those guys are trying to be cute, but he had to go with the exact same name. I'm just rolling the credits right now. I'm done my research, man. I'm the first one. Oh, gosh.